most of them think with truncate we cannot perform a rollback okay now let's understand this point we'll see first of all in delete we have on table tbl employee sales with below data okay now i have used over here a transaction i have a rollback and in between i am doing a delete so firstly i will just execute this part i will perform a delete on this table using the transaction so as you can see the delete has happened i will check there should be no record in this table correct now let's do a rollback now once i do rollback i should see my four records back now let's check the tables data i see my all four records back so with this what we conclude delete supports rollback now let's move to truncate again we have the same table we see the data in it okay now again here we execute the truncate the records are deleted let's check the table's data there should be no data so we don't have any row in the table tbl employee sales now let's perform a rollback please note this is truncate in truncate we are going to see rollback let's see are we able to restore the four records or no okay we perform the rollback and now let's check the select on this table most of them think truncate will not be able to restore the data but it's not the fact we are able to restore the data in truncate so basically summary is delete and truncate both support a rollback so i hope you would have liked this video so if you want me to make a video on any particular topic just write that in the description box and please please like this video and do subscribe this channel thank you